In 2023, I think the metaverse is gonna move from a consumer-focused metaverse to an industrial metaverse. And that's because the technology is just not there for a consumer metaverse, whereas the industrial applications are ripe. And the technology is there to have digital twins, smart hands on site, to be able to have a whole digital replacement instead of digital transformation for testing things. So I think what we're gonna see instead of the Ready Player One consumer metaverse in 2023, we're gonna see an industrial metaverse that looks more like a hyper-realistic version of the scientific method. I think the expansion of the industrial metaverse in a lot of ways makes it feel easier for the legal equivalents. It's harder in the consumer metaverse. There's some fights about whether or not if I have a Prada purse, can I have a Prada replica in a virtual version of that. The industrial metaverse makes it easier to make legal equivalency because it's businesses who are used to legal issues and solving them, whereas consumers may not be as used to that. So I've had a lot of fun in the metaverse, but it's also, um, I've lost time in the metaverse. Like every time I deal with my Decentraland avatar, an hour goes by before I know it. And I'm like, I don't know if I really did anything. Not a lot of people have time for that. So until we give them a reason to live in the metaverse or to do more in the metaverse and spend that time, it's not gonna progress. The industrial metaverse does that. I'm not playing, I'm working. I'm receiving services. The industrial metaverse becomes work instead of play.